Hey friends, I didn't even see you come in there. Hi, James Corbett, CorbettReport.com, Solutions Watch, July 2024. After I finished reading that to Vinny, I, I swear to God, he said, James, I'm glad you read books. <laughs> and you know what? That is a very astute observation because that is the type of tidbit, the bit of historical knowledge that is right there. It's on the table. It's extremely interesting and very relevant. It's an incredible little fact, and it is the kind of fact that you would probably only find by reading a physical book. You're not going to find little factoids like that in whatever the latest trending news story going across the wires. If you're watching some talking head on some streaming video platform talking about the news of the hour, the news of the minute these days, you're probably not going to get that kind of historical context that I think is important to really put things in perspective and to get people to see things in new ways. And that is the kind of insight you can glean by reading a physical book. That is not the only thing to read, uh, to bring the reading of physical books to your, to your attention. Uh, as I have mentioned before in a previous edition of Solutions Watch, um, you will note that, of course, I highlight those passages that I think are particularly important. And as I talked about in the highlighter episode of Solutions Watched, I did talk about why it is important to do that. Because the physical act of highlighting is actually one way of helping to imprint that information in your noggin. I am more likely to recall information that I have physically scanned across the page with the highlighter and made the mental note, I better think about this. And then, of course, it is easier to access when you're flipping through the book and looking for a certain key passage. So that is an important part of the tactile experience of reading a real, actual, physical book. Not a digital book, not an ebook, not an audio book, but an actual physical book. The tactile sensation of it, the actual reading of pages, actually does, I think, promote not only attention, but also uh, actual re recollection. I think it's easier to remember facts that you have read and actually highlighted up on the physical page. But yes, of course, it's also good for attention span as well. To sit in quiet contemplation with a book, to be able to be uh, completely apart from the distractions, the bells, the whistles, the nonsense that is always one swipe away when you're on your digital device. And also, we know that the Library of Alexandria is on fire right now, that they are in a concerted effort trying to burn down all of the repositories of information online, including, of course, the Internet Archive, which, as I'm sure people in the audience who use the Internet Archive know, that is in trouble. And uh, there are a lot of books on the Internet Archive lending library that are not available for lending now because they are still un uh, in the midst of that lawsuit with all of the publishers. So. This, this incredible Library of Alexandria is a digital ephemera that could disappear at the flip of a digital switch and CrowdStrike comes in, hold my beer. Well, I still have my physical books on my physical bookshelves and uh, unless and until the firefighters from Fahrenheit 451 come in and start lighting all the books on fire, well, these will be safe and sound in my possession. Even if the, Carring the great Carrington event happens and we lose all digital power, I will still have my books. Anyway, these are just some of the reasons why I think reading a physical, actual, real book might be in your best interests. And getting into the habit of reading a book, carving out a space, even just a few minutes, hopefully more than that, but even just a few minutes of every day where you can sit in quiet contemplation of a book. It doesn't have to be a deep book of history and big serious things. It could be a pleasure reading, <laughs> which in my case would be Proust or Faulkner or something. <laughs> okay, not everyone's cup of tea, but whatever it is, I think the actual act of reading is probably a good habit to get into. Why not pick up a book? If you're going to the beach this, this summer or you're, you've got some time to relax, try relaxing with an actual physical book. Anyway, I hope that this will serve as inspiration, motivation for those who need it. And for those who are regularly reading, well, you know what I'm talking about. At any rate, that's going to do it for this very simple, very straightforward edition of Solutions Watch. Thank you for sharing your time with me. On that note, I'm going to leave it there for today. James Corbett, CorbettReport.com.